Oh. Garrett left her phone in the car. So now I'm stuck and I have no way of telling you that I can't leave Georgia. Oh, this is a mess. It's a mess. Today is day three on our road trip and this morning we left Signagi and we are en route to Armenia. But in order to take a rental car from Georgia into Armenia, you have to have some special paperwork. So we have to swing back through the capital of Tbilisi to pick up the paperwork and then it's on to Armenia. Which if we'd have known that we were gonna rent a car, we could have done the paperwork in advance. <laughs> we're doing everything very last minute on this trip, including booking our accommodations. So we booked our Airbnb before we left our hotel this morning and then our Airbnb canceled on us. So right now we have nowhere to stay tonight. <laughs> Which Go might end up being okay because we think we're going to stay outside of the city now which might be more fun and exciting. Our plan was to spend two days in the capital but now we've been doing a little bit of research and there's a huge lake that takes up 5% of Armenia and so now we're thinking we might go stay on the lake. We need to get this fish and some water. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Oh, yes! Oh, that's for you. <laughs> we pulled over on the side of the road because there was a castle. We thought we'd check it out. And then this very nice man with a horse and a sword invited me for a ride. <laughs> invited you for a ride. This is why you get a rental car, so you can make random stops like this. One second we're on our way to Tbilisi, and the next second we're in a castle and cares on a horse. <laughs> See you later, Charlie. Bye, man. <laughs> Bye, thank you. Great way to start the day. Uh, don't lose this paper okay. because uh, you need it when you're uh, driving back to Georgia. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. All right, let's go to Armenia. Thank you, Nate. Didi Matsloba. Maybe this is why people don't do road trips from Georgia to Armenia. We've been sitting in this coffee shop trying to find a place to stay for a long time now. It's a five hour drive to where we want to go in Armenia. So we really need to get on the road because it's already... It's a five hour drive plus 2.30. Plus, <laughs> plus we're still not 100% sure where we're going in the country. We all know what happened last time we tried to cross the border with a car. Mm. Charlie is going to get our passports back. Why is he still in there? <gasps> now the cat just slammed the door and kept Charlie in the hut with him. You look a bit nervous. If nothing else, this will turn out to be a good story. What happened? Grabbed, grabbed me, <gasps> pulled me back into the thing by the neck. It all got a little bit heated with our passports. <laughs> and then he's like yelling in Croatian at me. It was quite no. hectic. I thought we were going to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Thrown into Croatian prison. I'm gonna stay very quiet in the car. <laughs> All right, we did it. We booked it. We just left Tbilisi and we are heading to Armenia, our 79th country, right? Yep. Oh, hey. Don't forget me. <laughs> Hi, babe. We are four and a half hours away from Lake Seban, which is where we're staying, but it might take a bit longer than that because of the border crossing. We will see. But until then, we're gonna jam in the car. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Famous, so, so famous, number one desirable. We're at the border. Here we go. Into Armenia, hopefully. I'm not talking. We need to get out of the car and quietly go across very politely through the building while Nate takes the vehicle through alone. <laughs> Alright, y'all better get out. Okay, bye. Nate seems to be leaving the country again. So it's been at least 15 minutes since Nate turned around and left the border crossing. 
and we have no idea where he is or why he got pulled aside. There's like a million more cars now and no sign of Nate. And we don't know what to do. Well, that <laughs> just like everything else in Georgia so far, that did not go as planned. Uh, this is this is the aftermath of me rummaging through the glove box and every other compartment in this car trying to find a car passport which is apparently a little green card that is not in this car that we need to cross the border. I think that uh, Kara and Charlie made it across because they had to get out and just walk through and so they're out of Georgia <laughs> and I'm still in Georgia stuck with no way of getting there unless uh, I can find this little green card. I'm just, I'm hoping that it's stuck inside one of these 12 maps that's in the glove box. I've called the, the rental car company and they're supposed to be calling me back. <sighs> I am giving this a, I would say there's a 60% chance that the car passport is not in this car and we're gonna have to drive all the way back to Tbilisi. Where are y'all, Nathan? Oh. Kara left her phone in the car. So now I'm stuck and I have no way of telling you that I can't leave Georgia. Oh, this is a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> Found it. There is a little hidden compartment right by your knee. If anybody ever finds themselves in Georgia running a Toyota Corolla, this is where they hide the passport. Looks like Nathan Buchanan. It's him! Yay! Hop in! <laughs> what happened? What happened? Mate, so I don't run this woman down, please. She's done nothing wrong. <laughs> let her live. So, uh, were I the was... police just standing there watching you? No, so they let me like go through, turn around, and then... We saw that, didn't we? Did you really? We went yeah. through and we're like, yeah. what's with Nate gone? Why is he doing that? Karen's like, let's go and buy perfume. And then it's like, <laughs> So Nate is inside buying our car insurance and we are almost done with this border crossing experience and we're gonna pull a little trick on him. <laughs> we'll see how he takes it. I don't think he's gonna take it well. <laughs> what do you think? We had a little moment right before we finished the first step of the crossing. Oh. Oh, I feel like we're about to lose the camera. Yeah, but. let's look at let's just do it. Let's do it. It should be all fine. <laughs> we're all set. I think leaving the border area was the right decision. We paid half of what I read it was going to be online. Fantastic. It was seven. So we paid $14 for 10 days worth of insurance. Fantastic. Pretty good. A lot cheaper. <laughs> We've made it through. Woohoo! One hour and 45 minutes later. <laughs> A really really long time. There were a lot of steps to that. I think there's one other thing that we should point out if you are planning on coming on a road trip from Georgia to Armenia. Although it's warm it's lovely and it's lovely to kind of film a video and and enjoy your time at the border crossing it's probably not that advisable. You might not want to have your camera out on the border while Nate is inside because an officer might come over and take your camera and take out your memory card and Snap it in half. No. And if you haven't backed up your videos no. for three days beforehand, I think it could be pretty difficult. No, he broke it in half. And put his foot in the boot and crunched it into the ground. No way. <laughs> cursed at us in Armenian. <laughs> you don't like cursed, you don't know Armenian. <laughs> you sound very cursive. So we don't have a vlog from our entire road trip. That I'm camera. Yes. No. <laughs> no way! <laughs> when did you have this camera? <laughs> we were sitting out in the sun. You were still inside that building, you know, when yeah. you had the window? Yeah, so we were out there. But it would have been a really good video because we were very upbeat. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gone as planned. <laughs> Let's go to the lake. Georgia's great. Oh, we're in Armenia. You're handling Armenia this is great. so well, mate! The cost of it. What are you upset about? The the cost of the nice memory card that we had in that camera? Well, I have good news for you. Okay. He didn't break the memory card. We just had to delete the last two videos that we took in the parking lot. Oh, fantastic. I'm so <laughs> glad I handled that well. <laughs> you Go did. Nuts. I'm a little disappointed in how well you handled it. What if I just would have started screaming at everybody? <laughs> you two irresponsible. Yeah, <laughs>
Look at that's a crater. <laughs> we have just driven on to the worst road. Ah, that might not be true. I'm no, you've been on definitely. You are being very dramatic. Go to the right. I'm not being dramatic with how bumpy the camera is. We've driven on to a road with some of the biggest potholes that I've ever seen. I don't think I can dodge this. At least you're not in the middle. I think that one went all the way through the channel. <laughs> <laughs> After eight hours of driving and sitting at border crossings, we are within one hour of the hotel that we're staying at tonight. We've just stopped at a Syrian restaurant in Armenia <laughs> that Charlie found on a blog post about crossing the border with a car. With blankets. <laughs> but it is fantastic and it's also very cold in Armenia. It's freezing. <laughs> and we're sitting by a river being ravaged by mosquitoes. <laughs> And our hands feel moist. And we're, and we're no, I'm not quite sure why hands are ready moist. for us to get to our hotel. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Where we're going to share a bed. <laughs> <laughs> that may or may not be open when we get there. It's been a very interesting day. <laughs> a long and interesting day. <laughs> but the food the looks incredible. It is good. Hello. Josh! <laughs> Josh! <laughs> How are you? Goody Mosquilla! I really wow. like it. Lovely. We are ready for the beach and here is your bathroom. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, it's extra bed for third person. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. There is uh, tea coffee. Hi, look. Great. Can you pull the sword out? Mm -mm. That's probably a good thing. What better one is today? Y'all had a beautiful day. Hated it. Hated it. There's, There's not disgusting. a single piece of food left on any of our plates. Literally, like, just plates. I'm not paying a cent for it. Now we'll because see. Because one, I don't have any Armenian dollars or whatever they call them. <laughs> Second, I don't have any US dollars. Third, I now have and no that's Georgian. All you take. <laughs> yeah, they don't take Georgian. We have uh, eight thousand, which is equivalent to sixteen dollars, not eighteen dollars. And we're very hopeful that that buys. <laughs> There were no prices on the menu. The only bad thing is, is that it's all of the most expensive thing. Oh, on I've the got menu, some Georgian dollars. Which is an imported drink. It's carbonated beverage called <sighs> Coca Cola. I have high class. The rest taste. of it, cheap. <laughs> so if we're over, that's on night. And right, we're wearing you. traditional Armenian Check. wear blankets. Wear. Just the fans again. <laughs> <laughs> You're Jewish. welcome, at church. I have no idea what's going to come out of this gift box. So far it's a very thin gift. It comes to, how much do we think? Who's going to have a bet? Kira? I think it's going to be 16,000. Me? 16,000? I'm going to say it's 10. How much do we have? Eight. We're short. 